guys. I think it's the next day after I last updated you guys. I'm not 100% sure. I was at work this morning and then I went over to my parents' house this afternoon because they made food. So I stayed over there till I just got back um, at like 11 at night. So I spent the night pretty much over there and they actually bought me um, printer paper for my printer and I send some of my Amazon packages to my parents house just because I trust it to be at my parents house more than here. I got some printer ink and my copy paper and now I'll be able to actually print things <laughs> off of my printer and then I left my little Wi-Fi thing um, at my parents house to put into my uh, gaming PC and then I also ordered this natural Himalayan salt lamp. I have been wanting a salt lamp literally forever and I saw this on Amazon and I ordered it so I don't know where I'm gonna put it. As you guys know I have a problem where I am buying a lot of lamps. I have two lamps right beside each other in here and then I have a lamp in my bedroom. I just have a lot of light <laughs> and nowhere to even plug them up at but I've just been wanting this lamp so much. So it comes with two bulbs at the very top right here. It's very heavy. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting like at all. Like this thing is seriously the size of my head and it is stunning. I think I'm gonna put it on my night side table in my bedroom. So at night, if I want to read, I feel like it'll put off enough light where I can read, but it's not too bright where Lumos like can't wake up and do his thing that he normally wants to do, you know? Uh, I need scissors and I don't wanna get up and get scissors. Okay, this is like seriously straight up salt. Okay. <laughs> I didn't, okay, this may be stupid, but I didn't think that it was like actual, like real, like crystal salt. I thought it was just like a decoration, but this is like legit a salt lamp. There's like directions on how to clean it. You have to regularly dust off the salt crystal with a dry clean cloth. Do not wash or clean with water. Do not use for a long period of time and store the lamp in a cool and dry environment. Okay. This is actual, like, I gotta take care of this salt lamp right here. I wanted to put it on my coffee table right here, but then I realized it has a plug and I have nowhere to plug it in where my coffee table is. Tap this. Oh, it worked! Oh, that's so freaking pretty. Here it is. I mean, it looks a little, like, dirty. I don't know if it's, like, supposed to look like that, but it's stunning. It already has a light bulb in it and two extra ones, but you tap this to turn it on and off, and then you can also dim it. If you run your finger around it, it dims it. I've just been, like, tapping it, but... Yeah, you can dim it. That is really, really pretty. I have it plugged up in my room with the lights off so you guys can see what it looks like. I think it'll definitely be bright enough for me to still be able to read a physical book and without it being too bright for Lumos, it is so pretty. I don't know if this is like the perfect spot for it right now, but this is where I'm gonna keep it right now because it's super pretty, I love it. So I'm going to give you guys, I guess, a little update on what I'm actually doing tomorrow. I have been debating it like for the past week now. I've been wanting a cat for a while. I've talked about it in my previous vlogs. I've talked about it, I mean, before I even moved into my apartment that a cat was something that I eventually wanted. And I was talking with my parents today and I like was truly asking you guys on Twitter and my parents parents and like do does anyone think it's been too early to get an animal and pretty much everybody has said no like if you feel like you can take care of an animal then get it so tomorrow <laughs> I'm actually meeting my grandparents for lunch and then they're gonna come see my apartment because they actually haven't seen it yet my grandmother hasn't at least and then after that we're going to head over to PetSmart because they have the kitty angel rescue at PetSmart so I'm gonna look at the cat there and then also if I don't get a cat there at least buy a carrier because I'm gonna go to the shelter and see if there's any cats there and I already have a carrier for I do want to get a girl cat um, mostly because I've noticed girl cats are a lot more tame and not as destructive as boy cats watch me totally jinx that and me get like the worst cat possible Possible. I really 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 love cats and I really want a cat but I also love my furniture in my apartment this couch that I have that my grandma's husband redid for me I am obsessed with it it's the most beautiful comfortable couch I've ever even laid eyes on and if I get a cat and they destroy the sides of this couch like I will be so upset and I will never declaw a cat ever if you support declawing cats like unsubscribe to me click out of this video. And the little like soft paws that you can buy don't last very long. They're pretty expensive and cats hate having them on because I have to put them on cats at work and cats hate it. And I hate getting my fingers glued together. <laughs> if you don't know what soft paws are, they're like little like fake soft nails that you can put on your cat's nails so they can't scratch things up. But they, they're kind of like fake nails that you buy for humans. They don't last too long. And kittens are obviously like continuously growing so they grow pretty fast. But I'm obviously gonna keep 
the cat's nails trimmed because I mean I work in an animal hospital and I barely have to pay anything for pet care because I work in an animal hospital so I haven't bought anything for it um, because I haven't bought the cat yet but like I said tomorrow I'm gonna prepare and at least buy a carrier and then depending on if I get a kitten or a cat depends on what kind of food that I buy and then I will overnight ship things from Amazon like a, um, like a little thing for them to play with and stuff like that probably a cooler litter box I'm just gonna buy like a normal pan litter box if I get a kitten because if it's small enough like I gotta make sure it's going to the bathroom and they will be engulfed in a huge litter box so I'm probably just gonna buy like a cheap four dollar litter box and then depending on what kind of cat or kitten I get I'm not picky on whether it's a cat or a kitten whatever I fall in love with like that's what I'm going to get if I even fall in love with one tomorrow it may be a couple weeks from now where I get one we'll see I have really really been wanting another Siamese because my very first cat that I personally ever owned was a Siamese I have a tattoo of her right here and she was my cat and she was perfect and she died of cancer unfortunately and she was the best cat that I've ever had and I just really want another Siamese like they're my favorite. I either want like a Siamese or a pure black cat or a pure white cat. <laughs> <laughs> but if I fall in love with something other than that, then I'm not too picky, but I'm very excited to get a cat just cause I'll have something here to take care of and like, it'll be fun. And I'm gonna make like this little area right here that I have nothing here. This printer still needs to go in the dumpster um, or Goodwill. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. And then I can move this lamp somewhere else or move it over. And then this whole area right here is just gonna be for the cat. Like I'm gonna make, like a, I'm not gonna make it, but I'm gonna buy like a cat tower and like toy area. I'm um, probably a litter box. I wanna buy one of those litter boxes that um, the cat enters from the top and it's a lot cleaner and I'm gonna have like a mat and then the food and water. And I think I'm just gonna make this whole area like the cat area. Cause I don't really have room anywhere else to put a litter box. I don't wanna put um, anything in the laundry room because I don't want the cat going in the laundry room. First of all, because there's food in there. Second of all, I've heard many, many horror stories of cats getting stuck in washers and dryers and I just don't ever wanna take that chance. I'm not stupid enough to not check the washer and dryer, but you know, just taking the chance. I'm gonna keep the laundry room closed. So I have like my whole cat thing planned out on Amazon so if I need to like overnight ship something I can get it on Amazon because things are a lot cheaper on Amazon for cats than they are at PetSmart. The cat towers on Amazon are like $50 for huge cat towers. At PetSmart they're over a hundred, a hundred and fifty. Like there's way overpriced. Ross has really cute dog and cat beds, bowls, so many things that you could think of for dogs and cats. They have at Ross and Marshalls and stuff like that. So look at cheaper places because I promise you could probably find something better. Um, I'm not very tired right now. It's almost midnight. I think I'm going to spend the rest of my night reading, but I'm doing another vlog on my reading channel right now. So I'm like confusing my footage and I'm like trying not to put vlog footage from my reading channel onto a main channel video. So I'm not even going to talk about books. Yeah, I guess I'll just um, update Date you guys back tomorrow maybe when I'm at PetSmart or maybe when I'm at the shelter um, I want to do like a whole video like essentials you need for a cat like I said I've had a, I've had cats my whole life like I've never not had a cat like I was born into a household with a cat I work in an animal hospital so I know quite a bit about cats so I feel like doing a video about like essentials you need for a cat or cats 101 or something like that would be fun videos to make so if you guys would like to see that then comment down below I would love to do it but I'm obviously going to vlog the process of adopting a cat so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys it is the next morning August 25th I just got done getting ready I'm wearing the same t-shirt and leggings that I wear almost every day <laughs> and I am about to leave and meet my parents and grandparents for lunch and then we'll be heading over to PetSmart and if I don't find a cat that I love from the PetSmart cat rescue then to the shelter we go. I was 
fat you were born on. Well, the kitten is eating right now. Um, by the way, I adopted a kitten. You guys probably saw the footage from my phone, but I'll show her a little bit more in a second. I have all of her paperwork. She was $10 and she, they gave her microchip. And tomorrow I'm gonna take her to work, get, a de get her dewormed, because she did poop in her carrier. So she obviously has tapeworms, because um, they were in her poop. So I'm gonna deworm her tomorrow, get her rabies, feline distemper, feline leukemia vaccine, get her tested feline leukemia and feline AIDS. Um, it may be possible that she's positive for one of those because the shelter was actually in a quarantine that was lifted a couple days ago because a couple of the cats died from feline leukemia So it could be possible that she is treated or that she is positive for it But it's okay if she is we're still gonna I'm still gonna keep her and I'm still gonna take care of her and treat her for it So they gave me just like this little bag of Hills science diet kitten food I think she's probably closer to a year old She's not like a tiny kitten or anything like that So I may switch over to adult food depending on how old the doctor thinks she is tomorrow But I'm giving her that and she's eating it and drinking water right now. At PetSmart, I got her these Temptations chicken flavored treats and I got this little like cat toy thing. She doesn't seem too interested in it yet. I got her a thing of like little balls and then I got her a little scratching post. She's just exploring right now. I just kind of opened the carrier and let her just kind of walk out. Um, I'm not gonna pressure her to do anything that she doesn't want to do. I bought a litter box that you guys saw. I got that from PetSmart and I got the little mat underneath it from PetSmart and the little water bowl is from Walmart and the food dispenser thing I got from a company a couple years ago. I'll put the link for it down below. Here she is. I haven't thought of a name for her yet. She's not spayed. I have to get her spayed by next month, but she'll get spayed pretty soon. She's super, super sweet. I fell in love with her like the second I saw her at the shelter. You guys heard me talking earlier that I wasn't expecting to get a gray cat. I either wanted like a black or a white cat or a Siamese, but she is just so sweet. She was been at the shelter for almost two months now, so she's going in the little bed that I got her. I got that bed at Walmart. It was $15. Um, a little expensive, I, I would say, but less expensive than what was at PetSmart. She seemed kind of interested in it. No, you don't get on top of it. Oh. Oh. That's depressing. Oh. <laughs> she said, look what I did, Taylor. I'm gonna try to give her one of these little treats just to see if she's interested. I'm not gonna be that person that gives her treats even if she's not doing anything good, but hey. Hey. <laughs> Pay attention to me. Oh. There she go. Pay attention to me. Here. Here. Oh. Look. Oh. oh my gosh. She gets so distracted. Hey, I'm booping you with a treat. Eat my treat. Eat it. <laughs> hey. Here. She says I'm bored. Here. Oh. All right, she doesn't want it. <laughs> oh, she's eating it. She ate it. <laughs> well, that was fast. Okay. Do you, do you even chew, cat? When she was eating earlier out of her food bowl, you couldn't even hear her crunching. It's like she just swallows it whole. <gasps> oh, you're so cute. Yeah. Okay, so there's good job. The first, there's the first thing for the cat to knock <laughs> Get off. No, you already had food, honey. We need to give her a bath because she pooped, like I said, she pooped in her carrier and she's got some poop on her paws, but I just... Don't want to like be mean to her as soon as she gets here, but she smells like poop. But the dawn will help with them. Um, please, yeah, if she please, has any yeah. too. Has catnip. <gasps> Ooh. I got the scratching post for $10 at PetSmart. Kind of pricey, um, but it came with catnip. She was not interested in it, obviously. And then those are the little balls that we got her just to see if she'll want to play. She doesn't seem like a, I mean, we've only had her for a little bit, but. Are you not a cat that's interested in these long feathery things? What you doing? You're not allowed on the counters. You're gonna learn that from day one. <laughs> oh, she ran. Oh, that was so cute.
do our best for you and the students, okay? Thank you. I know you will. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. so good, uh, like nine o'clock at night right now. My parents just left. They were spending the night with me and I made spaghetti for all of them. She's traveling into the kitchen right now. She is a very, very sweet cat. She's kind of tried to bite a little bit, but not like a hard bite, like a play bite. And when we tell her no, she stops immediately. Um, she tried to jump up on my mom while she was eating. We told her no, she jumped down, stopped, and then she sat on the floor, listened. She's a very, very calm cat, but you can tell that she's definitely a kitten. She's got her playful side. Sound like she just jumped on the cabinet. I have not let her travel into my bedroom yet. A lot of you guys messaged me on Instagram, which I appreciate so much, about salt lamps, which I bought a couple days ago, are actually toxic for cats. It causes like brain swelling and fail liver failure and stuff like that. So, so I am never going to keep my bedroom door open if I'm not home, it's always going to be closed because first of all, Lumos is in there. Second of all, the salt lamp is in there. But I may just put the salt lamp up in general. It wasn't very much on Amazon, so I'm not even gonna worry about returning it because it is beautiful. I wanna train her not to jump on the kitchen counters because that is a huge no-no. And our cat from my parents' house like to do it. She doesn't really like being held, so I'm not pressuring her into um, that quite yet. I do want to start training her to be used to being held though. Especially for work tomorrow, we should see. She is see how she acts um, with being restrained and stuff like that. I'm gonna get her nails trimmed tomorrow, deworming, get that feline leukemia and feline distemper vaccine tested because I don't know if I said this earlier, but there was an outbreak in the shelter of feline distemper. I thought it was feline leukemia, it was feline distemper, which is deadly to cats. So she may be positive for it, but it's okay. She is so, so incredibly sweet. She's just being very nosy right now. She has jumped in a couple places that I am not very happy with, but she doesn't seem too interested in cords. I don't want to jinx that or just like chewing and scratching on things. So hopefully she's not going to be a cat that does that, but we'll deal with that if she is. You know, cats are cats. It's hard to really uh, train them the way that you want to, but she's the exact same color as the pillows on my couch. So she was laying on my couch earlier and she like blended in. And she also, since we brought her home, has continuous roundworms and tapeworms just coming out of her butt. She was dewormed last month. They did one deworming, but she obviously still has a lot of intestinal parasites. So I'm 100% getting her dewormed tomorrow because I do not F with worms. Those are freaking disgusting. Like she's licking some off of her butt right now. So I'm not gonna let her sleep in my room with me tonight. I'm either going to sleep in this bean bag with her in this room tonight. I'm definitely getting her dewormed tomorrow because I am not going to have worms, like tapeworms and roundworms around my apartment. Like, mm -mm, that's disgusting. <laughs> I was going to do like a whole cat haul day, but I totally forgot to record like when I got home. But I kind of showed you guys like what I got her and stuff like that. And I'm going to buy her more stuff. So if you guys want to see like a video, like it's like, that's an actual like pet haul. Yeah, so that was like my day of me uh, adopting a cat. Tomorrow I'll be taking her to work. Maybe I'll record some of her at work or something like that. But I may be sleeping in here tonight just cause I don't want to leave her in here by herself. Cause she seems like she's going to be a little destructive. Y'all don't even know her name yet. <laughs> let her in my room and the first thing she did was go under the bed. Yes, she loves the bed. I don't want her to sleep in here tonight. I'm probably gonna sleep in the living room with her because I feel like she's just going to stay under the bed, which is fun. Oh, there you are, you scared me. <laughs> her meow is so cute. I'm not gonna let her go in the bathroom. Um, It's like a little quack. It's not like a full meow, but she's been acting kind of weird. She'll like make this loud no ma'am. She'll make a loud meowing noise and then she'll just like dart like really really fast just dart like she's going to like grab the back of my legs and I don't know why she does it. She only does it when I'm like walking around and talking to her. If I ignore her she doesn't do it. And one time she was sleeping and she was meowing continuously in her sleep like she was in pain and then she turned around and looked at her butt but I can see worms on her butt right now and I don't want her in my bed ma'am. So I open my door just to let her, just to let her see everything. And cause I, you know, need to put my pajamas on. Okay, so I'm just gonna let her roam around and do her thing. She kind of wigged me out earlier when she was like acting like she was gonna attack me. But I bought like these feel away sprays to plug into the doors. See, she does that, but like worse. She'll just like sniff something and then just like charge an area. It's really weird. Like she never like charges me or tries to bite me. Like she stops when she sees me, but it's just like really strange. I guess just kitten things. I don't know. Comment down below if any of your cats have ever done anything like that. <laughs>
I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> a little update on Miss Twyla. I went to work today. She's using the litter box, so you may be able to hear her. But I took her to work today. There, we don't have a test to test for feline distemper, which is what was exposed in the shelter, but she's negative for feline leukemia, feline AIDS, and heartworm. And she also did not have ear mites. We gave her a dewormer. We gave her a liquid dewormer because we were out of the like pill. So when I go back to work on Wednesday, I'm going to get the pill. Um, so she has two dewormers because she has a lot of worms coming from her butt. And I, like I said, I got her dewormer. Um, we gave her an antibiotic shot because she was starting to sneeze a little bit. So I just felt safer just to go ahead and give her the antibiotic because she was already there. Trimmed her nail. That's really nice. Her nails were very sharp. So, but I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I'm going to be doing a lot more cat videos, but I feel like this vlog might've been kind of long. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to end it here and start it back up tomorrow. Tomorrow I am actually getting another tattoo right here. So that's going to be the next vlog is going to be a tattoo vlog. Tomorrow's going to be the first day that Miss Twyla is going to be here by herself. Hopefully I don't come back to a destroyed apartment because last night she was very destructive. I got about 30 minutes of sleep. She was darting around screaming every five minutes like she would not sleep and it was very frustrating So if anybody has any tips then comment down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye